Let's cover seven goalkeeper rules and you won't want to miss the sixth one. Goalkeeper rules and regulations number one, handling the ball. Goalkeepers have a special area known as the penalty area or the 18 yard box. This is where they can use their hands to handle the ball. However, they can only do it when a person from the other team last touched the ball. Or if a teammate did not intentionally pass it back to the keeper with their foot. Or intentionally pass it back with another body part. If they intentionally handle the ball outside of the box, it will result in a direct free kick and possibly a yellow or red card depending on the situation. If a teammate kicks the ball to them and they handle it, it is an indirect free kick. Goalkeeping rules number two, punts. After making a save, goalkeepers often have the responsibility of restarting the game. They can throw the ball, kick the ball off the ground, punt it, or drop kick the ball. Rules for goalies in soccer number three, goal kicks. If the ball last touched an opposing player of the other team before going out along the goal line, then they have to use a goal kick to restart the play. Rules allow teammates to remain within the 18 yard box, the penalty area, during a goal kick, but opposing players cannot be in the 18 yard box. Soccer goalie rules number four, holding the ball. The goalkeeper can only hold the ball for a maximum of six seconds. This prevents time wasting tactics. Once the six second mark is passed, even if the goalkeeper bounced the ball against the ground, then the opposing team would be awarded an indirect free kick where the goalkeeper last held the ball. By the way, I'm Dylan Joseph, trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. Soccer goalkeeping rules number five, penalty kicks. When facing a penalty kick, goalkeepers must have at least one part of one foot on the goal line and not move forward until the ball is kicked. However, they can move side to side in order to try to save the shot. Goalkeepers are no longer allowed to distract penalty takers before they kick the ball. Soccer keep Keeper rules number six, fouls inside the box. If a goalkeeper or teammate commits a contact foul or handles the ball inside the penalty box, then the opposing team is awarded a penalty kick. 75% of penalty kicks result in goals, which means this is a very costly mistake. Goalie rules for number seven, clothing. Goalkeepers are required to wear a different colored uniform than the rest of the players. This allows the referee to easily determine who can handle the ball inside the penalty area. Goalkeepers still have to wear socks, shin guards, and cleats just like any other player. Also, the goalkeeper should wear a pair of keeper gloves to make catching and deflecting the ball a lot easier. Subscribe to watch my video first or watch the video on soccer goal kicks next.